Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below to see more of my videos if you want to. Um, today's video is going to be a Jaclyn Hill Made Me Buy It video. So this video is just going to be um, talking about all the products that I have purchased because of Jaclyn Hill here on YouTube. I'm sure you know who she is. If you don't, then you are living under a rock or you just don't have social media, um, so you wouldn't be watching this, obviously, but that's besides the point. Um, I just want to quickly say before I get into the video that Jaclyn Hill is like the first person I ever watched on YouTube, and this might be like cheesy, but she's honestly like my inspiration, and she's the reason why I even started my own channel. So I started watching her when I was about... 15 years old I want to say or no was I was I in, was I 16 I don't remember exactly like my exact age but I know I was in high school still and I just loved watching her I would come home from school and just binge watch her and I didn't really know that there was like such thing as like makeup tutorials and stuff I've always been interested in makeup I am a cosmetologist so I do hair makeup all of that so I knew when I was young that that's what I wanted to do but I just never really knew there was like a community here on YouTube that you can kind of like watch videos and learn stuff like that and I think one day I just typed in like how to how to do a smoky eye or something like that and Jaclyn Hill popped up and I was like wow that girl's really pretty so I clicked her video and it was like her first like cat eye smoky eye it was so long ago and I watched her and I was seriously so in awe like I was just she inspired me so so much I, it's so true like she is the reason why I started really getting into makeup she's the reason why I watched YouTube she's the reason why I even made my own YouTube channel I would just seriously watch her for days and like every time she posted a new video I was so excited and I just really learned a lot from her and although I did learn like a lot when I was going to beauty school and stuff like that she just really helped me kind of like grow as a makeup artist and I just would watch her and learn so many small tips and tricks that I didn't know before so she was really like the inspiration of me really getting into beauty as much as I already was into it she just kind of like really made me obsessed with makeup all these products that she has mentioned I immediately would go out and purchase and there are some things here that I am going to talk about that I don't have with me so she did make me purchase them but I don't have them because they are either they're either at my boyfriend's house or I just ran out of the product but I know for a fact that she's the reason why I bought them I am going to forewarn you that this video is going to be really long because there are so many things that she has made me buy and I did want to also mention that everything that I'm talking about well not everything because I can't really put everything on my face but most of it I am wearing today in this video um so yeah, I thought that would be helpful so that you could kind of see like what I'm talking about. Um, without further ado, if you guys want to see all the products that Jaclyn Hill has made me buy, then let's just jump right in. I'm going to start off with like face products and then move on to the eyes, but I do want to start off with brushes. Um, all these brushes right here, um, she definitely made me buy. When I first started doing makeup, I didn't really know, sorry about that, I didn't really know that brushes were like a huge, huge thing. I, you know, I didn't really think anything of it until I actually purchased my own. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have these brushes. I just came to love them and every single one of these brushes in here was because of Jaclyn Hill. She did have a brush video where she talked about, um, like what her favorite brushes are and every single one that she talked about I pretty much bought so I'm just gonna kinda run through them really quick this blush brush is by Morphe and this is the E4 I use this every single day for my brush I say that in every video for my blush and then for my foundation this is the Morphe E31 this is the flat top highly recommend this brush definitely bought it because of her a lot of these brushes actually all of them are Morphe or Sigma and I highly recommend that brand 
Um, this is my favorite brush. Um, this is the M433. This is for like blending. I use this all the time as well. This I purchased because she contoured with this and this is the Morphe M523. Looks like this. It fits perfect in the contour so got that one. And then also this is the um, Sigma Tapered Highlighter, the F35. It just looks like this. This is what I set my under eyes with, definitely because of her. And this is the Morphe M501. This is what I highlight with. It just fits perfect to highlight. And the rest of these are just pretty much other blending brushes for your eyes, but I do want to mention this one. This is the Morphe M432. This is like a flat shader definer brush. Definitely bought this because of her. She always used to smoke out her lower lash line with this brush, so I was like, I need that brush. So all of these brushes in here are because of Jaclyn Hill. So starting off with face, this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm actually all out. This is completely empty. I, I've been having to take the lid off and like scrape the sides because it's completely empty. I do have a backup, but I did want to mention this because I obviously love it. I've used the whole thing. This is by Becca, and she does have a collab with Becca, which I will talk about in the next couple products, but this is an amazing, amazing primer. If you have dry skin, you will love this. Um, it has just a really pretty sheen, and it makes you look like you are glowing within. So I'll try to show you guys what it looks like on the back of my hand. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it just looks beautiful on your skin before your foundation. Definitely purchase this one because of her. Another primer that I did purchase because of her is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. This is kind of a dupe for this one, and this one is drugstore. So this is the same idea. It just makes you look like you have a glow to the skin. So when you put it on, the, on your face, it's just kind of like this white, intense primer. But when you blend it in, I put way too much on the back of my hand. But when you blend it in, it makes your skin look really glowy and I actually really, really like this one. As you can see, my hand is like glowing. Um, this works amazing from the drugstore, so if you don't have the money to purchase the higher end Becca one, I would definitely try the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. This one is amazing. Okay, so for foundation, the first high end that I ever purchased in my life was because of Jaclyn Hill and this is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition High Definition Foundation. Don't ask me where the lid is because I just lose the lids to everything so don't have a clue where the lid to this is, but it's just like a black lid and I just love the bottle of this. I think it's so classy and I don't even want to talk the bottle because the foundation itself is absolutely amazing. So when she first talked about this, I had to go pick it up. This, like I said, was my first high-end purchase and I've been using it ever since. It is such a beautiful foundation. It gives you amazing coverage. I have it mixed with another foundation that I'm going to talk about in a second on my face right now. And this is just amazing for pictures if you're going to an event and you just want to look flawless in photography or anything like that. This is your foundation to go to. It is so so beautiful and so worth every penny. Definitely got this one because of her. And then this foundation is by the same brand. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. So I mixed these two together only because I have no more left of this. Like literally I can't even bring it up anymore. It's just on its last bits. So it's really hard to apply on your face when there's only a little bit left. So I had to mix these two together and I actually really liked the finish. This foundation has to be probably one of my favorite foundations ever. It just glides on your skin so beautifully and it, because it's in a stick, I thought it would be too dry, but it's not. It's so moisturizing on the skin and I am just obsessed with this foundation. I've gone through so many of these. I use this foundation on so many brides and it just looks beautiful. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like drying or anything like that. It is such a good foundation. I'm in the color 120 and it fits me perfectly when I'm kind of like losing a tan. Um, I just love this foundation. Definitely got this one because of her. And then moving on to drugstore foundations because of her. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I have another foundation that I am in love with that is by the same brand. It's the L'Oreal Lumi and it's in the bottle. I don't have that to show you guys because it's at my boyfriend's house. But it's pretty much the same thing as this one but it's just in a bottle and it's not in a cushion. So when you open this up you get a little... 
um, pad thing, I don't even know, what sponge, I don't know what you would even call that, and then your foundation is inside this little sponge, and I really am a fan of this. This definitely does work if you just want to kind of give your skin a nice fresh canvas, but you still want to look glowing. Probably my favorite foundation from the drugstore. So now moving on to concealers. The first one I want to talk about I don't have with me, but it's definitely, definitely a purchase because of Jaclyn Hill, and I have purchased so many of them. But because there are so many other concealers now that are like so good, I don't really purchase that one anymore. And this, the one that I'm going to talk about is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I don't have it to show you guys, but it's just in a little bottle that's like about this big. And it's an amazing concealer. Like when I first purchased it, I was obsessed. It's very thick, but it doesn't feel thick under your eyes. And it has extreme full coverage. So that's a really good, found, um, not foundation, that's a really good concealer. This is because of Jaclyn Hill. This is in the color Radiant Rose. I remember she used to use this all the time. And it's just to really brighten up your under eyes. I actually kind of miss using this and I really want to use it again now that I'm looking at it. But you apply this before your concealer and it just really brightens up your under eye because it has like that light pink tone to it. So yes, this is the MAC Prep and Prime. Definitely got this because of her. And then another concealer that I purchased because of her is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. She loves this from the drugstore and it's amazing, amazing um, concealer. So I have gone through so many of these. This is in the color 20 Sand Sable. This is for when I'm more tan. It's kind of like a yellow tone concealer. So there is another one called Light Fair that I use when I'm like pale. And I've gone through, like I said, several of these. This is an amazing, amazing concealer from the drugstore. It's definitely the best one I've ever used. So if you're looking for a concealer that is very affordable, definitely check the Maybelline Fit Me concealer out. It's so good. And then this concealer is the Naked Urban Decay um, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Definitely purchased this because of her. She was raving about it. Actually, everybody on YouTube was raving about it, but if Jaclyn Hill says something's good, I'm gonna buy it. Like, I don't care, I'm buying it. So this is in the color Light Warm, and that is it right here. So it's definitely lighter than the Maybelline one that I just swatched. Uh, blends out amazing, gives you super full coverage. It's what I have under my eyes today. Such an amazing um, concealer, definitely recommend this one. And then to blend my concealer out, Jaclyn Hill definitely was the reason why I purchased my first beauty blender. This one is so dirty, so uh, definitely does not look like this when you first purchase it. It's like a beautiful, like bright pink color, but I didn't have time to wash it, so I apologize for that. But it's such an amazing way to blend out your concealer or your foundation. You wet the sponge and then squeeze out all the excess water out, and then you just kind of pounce it into your skin and it blends foundation and concealer in beautifully. Definitely purchased this because of her. Moving on to setting powders, this was definitely, like all these are because of her, so I keep saying this was because of Jaclyn Hill. So this is the MAC setting under eye in the color, well not color, but in the shade Emphasize. So this is a kind of like translucent powder, but it's not really translucent because it's very, very brightening for your under eye. <laughs> Excuse me. It looks like that. It's what I use to set my concealer today. It gives you such a beautiful kind of like bright illuminating effect un under the under eyes. It doesn't look white or anything like that and I haven't had any issues with flashback. So that's what I really like about it. When you take a photo, you can't see like stark white underneath your eyes, but it does really brighten them up. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that right here, but that's it swatched. And when you just set your concealer with this, it just looks amazing and it keeps your concealer from not creasing. So definitely love this and I have hit pan as you can see. The next setting powder that was a purchase because of her was the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is completely empty. There is nothing left inside. I have to purchase another one, but this bad boy is such a good setting powder. I actually haven't really used 
this one in any of my videos because um, I just stopped using it for a while because I was obsessed with this one and then just recently I started using this one again and I love it. Um, but if you are looking for a really good loose setting powder that's translucent that's going to look amazing on your skin, this is definitely the one to try. So now for contour, this is the Kat Von D shade in light palette. Mine's looking a bit busted because I've used the absolute crap out of it. So she used this um, in a few of her makeup tutorials and I was like, yep, gotta get it. And as you can see, I definitely have been enjoying this palette. Um, I haven't really reached for it because I don't really like these two colors because this is way too dark for me. And I don't really use this one as much. Um, these two I was in love with and really, really liked this setting powder in the middle not setting powder, contour powder. It was like the perfect shade for my skin tone. And this one's really good too. So I used to use like both of these mixed. And I know that Kat Von D actually has like the refills now where you can purchase these individually. So I'm definitely going to do that, but definitely a huge fan of this palette. If you have not tried it yet, you need to. Next up is a bronzer. This is by MAC. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish and Give Me Sun. Definitely purchased because of her. She used this in one of her videos and I was like, are you kidding? That looks so beautiful on her skin. So I have actually hit pan on this. So you can kind of see like the bottom of it right here. I use this in so many of my videos. This isn't really technically like a bronzer, but I use it as one, but it's like beautiful. Like it makes you look like you've been at the beach and you're glowing. If you use too much, it can look a little orangey. It's definitely, definitely a warm tone bronzer. So if you are someone that likes more like red tone or ashy, then you're not going to like this, but this gives you such a beautiful sun-kissed glow. I usually use this every single day. Like this is my baby. I love this. Definitely because of her. It's a 33, I think, uh, dollar product, but I will buy it again because it is that good. So moving on to highlights, I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to say. Um, this is the Becca Highlight in Champagne Pop. I'm being very gentle with it because mine is smashed. Like, as you can see, it is smashed. I've heard a lot of people had issues with theirs breaking. I don't know if it's because the highlight is so buttery and creamy that it's very easy to break. This highlight is such, such a beautiful highlight. I understand why it got so much hype and why everyone just is obsessed with it. It looks beautiful on the skin. You just look like you are seriously glowing to the gods. And this is it right here, swatched. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because my lighting is just so bright. Um, it's so beautiful. It's what I'm wearing on my um, cheeks, but I actually wanted to talk about this because I did mix these two highlights. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette, so obviously I got this because it was her collab. So this is one of my favorite palettes of all time. It has blush shades and then it has the champagne pop and then this is Prosecco pop and I'm obsessed with both of these highlights. I usually mix the two of them. I don't know if you guys can see but there are some definite like divot holes in these so I'm like going to be so sad when this runs out because this palette is limited edition. Sad, I know, but it, I'm just so happy that I even purchased this to begin with because this blush is beautiful. And I believe that blush is Rose Spritz. It's such a beautiful color. All these colors are beautiful and I'm obsessed. So like I said, I have these two mixed on my cheeks today and it is just... I'm just obsessed with Champagne Pop. She did an amazing job. That highlight will never get old to me. It's so beautiful. Next thing that I wanted to talk about that she has used in her videos a while ago that definitely made me purchase this was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is an expensive, expensive palette. Um, but I definitely enjoy it. As you can see, the middle shade is kind of, there's like definitely hit pan on here. Um, this shade is a little darker so I don't really use it as much but I haven't actually used this palette in so long because I have so many highlights that I love that I just sometimes forget about this one which I kind of want to start using it more because it is so beautiful. 
It's perfect for those days that you're not trying to look like you have a disco ball on your face, which is what I like to go for a lot. But I really enjoy this palette because it just makes you look like you are glowing within. It just looks, and it's it's not shimmery. Like as you can see, it's on my finger. I'm not trying to flick you off. It's on my finger. It's not shimmery. It's just very like light. Like it gives you that kind of just glow within and it's so hard to explain. It's so beautiful and I definitely don't regret purchasing this. So thank you, Jacqueline. So a blush that I wanted to talk about that she has made me purchase that I don't have with me because it's at my boyfriend's house is the Milani Illuminoso or Luminoso blush. It's a baked blush and it's like kind of like a coral color. It's so beautiful. You guys have to try that blush. It is so affordable. It's by the brand Milani. It's called Luminoso and it's such a beautiful blush. So gorgeous. And I remember when she first used it, I was like, what? Like, I need that blush. So definitely went and got it, and I purchased actually quite a few because I've hit pan on them. So definitely a beautiful blush, thanks to her. So um, to finish the like face products off, the last thing I had to talk about, I actually don't have with me again, but it's the Urban Decay Setting Spray. I don't have that with me because it's at my boyfriend's house, but it is such a, an amazing setting spray. I highly, highly recommend it. I know I say that about a lot of the products I talk about, but if you really need something that's gonna really keep your makeup on and lock it in place, it is definitely the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of it. It's so good, it's worth the $30. It just keeps your makeup on all day. Like, it will not move. I spray that on my face and it kind of just melts the makeup all in together and it just looks so beautiful. Also have purchased the MAC, um, what is the name of it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, the MAC Fix Plus. Don't have that to show you guys, but it's another setting spray because of Jaclyn Hill. I haven't purchased it in a while because I have been using the Urban Decay one, but those two are amazing and definitely because of Jaclyn. So now moving on to eyes. This is like my biggest, biggest thing that was ever because of Jaclyn Hill. This is what really, really inspired me and really just made me into makeup a lot more than I already was. So these are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. If you are not aware of what Makeup Geek is, it's an online website by um, ran by Marlena. Marlena, I think her name is. She's here on YouTube. I used to watch her all the time. She came up with her own brand, and it is by far my favorite eyeshadows. I don't care like how many eye palettes I own. I always go to this palette. These are little single, like individual um, pans, so you can take them out and they have magnetic on the bottom of them. These, I believe, run for $6 a pan, which is absolutely amazing. You cannot go wrong with that price. The size of the eyeshadow is amazing. The quality, amazing. And the lasting power is amazing. You cannot go wrong with these eyeshadows. I have purchased every single one of these with my own money. This is a Z palette. You can get like different, um, like sh shapes, no. You can get different like patterns and stuff. This is just the black one because I wanted just something that was sleek. It does get dirty, but that's okay. I don't really mind. Um, so definitely purchase these because of Jaclyn Hill. I remember she used to talk about them and I was just like, what are these eyeshadows she's always using? I checked the website out and I made my first purchase. I remember I made my first purchase. It was like the little, you can get a little Z palette where you can fit, I think like eight shadows in it or something like that and I remember I did that and then as I got more into makeup I definitely made my collection bigger and a lot of these colors she uses in a lot of her makeup tutorials or has used in a lot of her makeup tutorials um, my favorite one by far is Coco Bear and that's the one that you can see has pan showing. It's such a beautiful color. It's what's on my crease. It's one of the colors on my crease. I use it every day. Like I use it as a um, transition shade. It's a little more like dark and warmer for a transition shade transition shade. It's just like the perfect warm brown. It's so, so beautiful. Love that. And then the black is so pigmented. Definitely use that all the time. And then this one, which is called Peach Smoothie. This is the perfect transition shade as well. It's a lot lighter than the Cocoa Bear one, um, but 
I really like Cocoa Bear because I like a punch to my eye, if that makes any sense. I like to have like kind of more of a dramatic look, so I do go for that one. Um, all of these shades are beautiful. This one is Shimma Shimma. It's like a beautiful kind of like um, sea champagne color. It's so beautiful. It's what's on my lid today. So these are the eyeshadows close up. I just wanted to show you guys so you get a better idea. I cannot express enough like how thankful I was when she first, you know, started using these. They are so affordable and it just made me obsessed with these. I rave about these eyeshadows still to this day. Um, and I just, I can't say enough good things about them. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, but for some reason, these will always be my favorite formula. I love them. They are just so affordable and it just makes me so happy that, you know, you can get really good quality eyeshadows for $6. I think that is amazing and it's so cool that you can kind of create your own palettes. Another eyeshadow palette that I purchased was because of her and this is the Morphe, I think 35O palette, yes, 35O. It looks like this and it just has a ton of a ton of warm shades. I love warm eyeshadows. So does Jaclyn Hill. If you watch her videos, you know that. She loves, loves, loves her oranges, her reds, her warms, and I definitely am the same way. This palette was sold out for the longest time because of Jaclyn. She raved about it and I purchased it like right when she said that she loved it because I needed it in my life and I love it. So moving on to eyelashes, she always used to use the Velour eyelashes. So these are the Fluff and Thick collection. This is Fluff and Wispy. She used to use these ones all the time. I believe this is the one that she used to use. Um, and they are beautiful. This is what they look like. You can reuse these like a few times because they are, I think they're like, I'm so bad with the prices. I think they're around like $22 or something like that. But they're just really good quality and they last for a long time. 100% real silk lashes so they feel really nice on your eyes. And I just am in love with these eyelashes. Velour is such a beautiful eyelash company. If you guys have not tried them, you should. This is what the ones that I have look like close up. They're so beautiful, very dramatic, but they're just stunning. Now keeping up with eyes, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Pot Eyeliner in Black is Black. I have talked about this several times in my videos. I've gone through literally, I can't even tell you how many little jars of this. This is a black eyeliner. She used to use this um, all the time in her videos for her winged liner and it just made me need it in my life. And I use this for my waterline every day that I'm wearing eyeliner and it does not smudge. This eyeliner is amazing, especially from the drugstore. It is my favorite eyeliner. It blows any high-end eyeliner, um, in my opinion. I think it is amazing. Then moving on to mascara. This I purchased because she mentioned it one time in her video. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. She uses this for her bottom lashes and I actually use the same mascara um, that she always talks about. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous from the drugstore. She uses that for her tops and then this is for her bottom. I actually always used to love the L'Oreal Voluminous even when I was like in a freshman in high school before I even watched her videos. I used to love that mascara and when she used to say it was her favorite I was like, oh my god, we have the same thing in common. Um, but this one I did purchase because of her because she did mention it in one of her videos and she loved it for the lower lashes and I have to agree. Um, I actually have two of them. This is empty so I purchased another one and the brush on this is just really good for lower lashes because it's small and it just really gets in the lashes. And I do have to say, it doesn't flake on me or anything like that. It doesn't smudge. It's a really good lower lash line mascara and definitely very affordable. I told you this video was gonna be long, I was not joking. So moving on to eyebrows, this was definitely, definitely a purchase because of her. This is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this is really the reason why I got into brows. She used to use this all the time on her brows and I was like, what is that? I need it and I'm just obsessed with it. Everybody uses this now. Um, it's just a perfect little pencil to really just shape your brows 
and it just draws little hairs perfectly. It looks so natural when you use it. I'm in the color taupe. I've used the color caramel before, or caramel, tomato, tomato, whatever. And um, it works really nicely, the, the caramel, but it is a little more warm. So I like taupe when my hair is really blonde like this because I like it to look kind of ashy to go along with my hair. So it's just an amazing um, eyebrow pencil. It has a little spoolie on the end. So many people ask me what I do to fill my brows in and this is what I use. It's amazing. Definitely try it out if you have not and you are trying to get into brows. It's so good. And then one thing that I wanted to talk about with brows that I don't have with me is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. She used to use this all the time. I think she still does. I'm not sure. Um, she used to say like that it sets the eyebrows like hairspray and they wouldn't budge all day. So obviously I went and bought it and she was right. I've gone through several tubes of that. I'm actually all out of it and I have to purchase another one. It's such an amazing brow gel. It literally keeps your eyebrows in place all day. It's amazing. Definitely check it out if you have not already. We're moving on to lips and that'll be it. So this is the Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in the color Lolita. This was raved about for the longest time, but I remember she used it in one of her videos and I was like, yep, yeah, okay, sold me. I'm gonna buy it and I did. And I don't regret it. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. This is what it looks like right here. Kat Von D um, liquid lipsticks are amazing. And the formula feels really nice on the lips. It's such a nice color. It's perfect for fall and winter. And I used to use this all the time and put a nude lipstick over it. And I loved the combination of the two. I thought it looked so good. So definitely purchased this because of her. And then this next lip gloss is definitely because of her. I keep saying that after every product, but it's like so true. Um, this is the lip gloss in Moon Glow. So she raves about the Marc Jacobs lip glosses. She raves about the Sugar Sugar one, but that one is literally always sold out because she talks about it so much. So I completely understand because I went on the website to get it and it was sold out. So I chose this one. This is in the color Moon Glow. It's beautiful. It's like a baby pink color. And she loves all of the lip glosses. She just raves about the Sugar Sugar one because I think it's more of like a neutral, like nude. This one is more of like a pinky color, but it's so beautiful on the lips. They're not sticky. They have a really pretty like peppermint scent to them. And I love this lip gloss. This next lip gloss that she used to rave about, I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. This is the NARS lip gloss in Chelsea Girls. She used to talk about this all the time, so obviously I went and purchased it. I can't remember the price of this, but it's definitely not cheap for a lip gloss. So these two are definitely the most high-end lip glosses that I owned, the most expensive ones. Um, but they are amazing, and I love them, and I don't have really anything bad to say about them. They feel really glossy on the lips. They look glossy. If I'm wearing a lip gloss, I want it to look glossy. Like I want my lips to look wet. That sounds kind of gross, but it's true. Um, I'm not trying to wear a lip gloss that looks drying. So these are definitely really glossy on the lips and I love these. I think that wraps up this video. Um, there was definitely other products that she's made me buy that I'm sure I'm forgetting, but this video is already gonna be so long. I just really want to thank you guys for like subscribing to my channel and even watching my videos. I this is my dream. Like, I'm, I really just want my channel to be a positive place to come to when you are feeling upset or when you just kind of want to like watch makeup or like talk about makeup when everybody else is talking about other things that's so serious. Sometimes it's nice to just kind of like curl up in bed and watch a makeup tutorial or watch someone talk about makeup and share the same interests with someone. I think that's really cool. And that's what I used to do when I was upset. I used to come on YouTube and watch videos for hours and I would just practice my makeup and everything like that. And it just kind of like took me away from anything that was making me feel negative or anxiety or anything like that. So I just, I really want to thank you guys for sticking with me and leaving the nice comments that you do leave. It really means a lot to me. Every comment that I read, it, I appreciate it and I try to respond to everyone and this is my passion. This is my dream I've been wanting to do this for so long and I finally am and I just want to thank you guys all because if it wasn't for you guys I probably would have stopped if I wasn't getting any feedback, but I don't know I'm just thankful for every single one of you guys. I just hit 18,000 subscribers and 
to me that's crazy and I'm really excited for what the future brings and that Christmas is coming I'm going to have a giveaway for you guys um, it's gonna be like a Christmas giveaway so stay tuned for that and yeah I just I love you guys all so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye